found something at Walmart. I had to buy it. How could I not? It's a Ghostbusters cereal and it has marshmallows in it. Okay, so let's uh let's take a look inside. pink it's very pink the marshmallows look like little ghosts i mean that's so precious get my mouth and the dogs love it like hungry hungry hippo all over the floor i know you're thinking like cassie's so sassy don't don't review cereal it's nothing really new it's a you know basically fruity flavored dog kibble with marshmallows in it I'm not reviewing this cereal. Look, the reason I'm doing this video vlog is because I thought it would be fun to read the questions on the back. Because I want to know if I have what it takes to be a ghost buster. And if I don't, somebody needs to wrap me out to my paranormal team right now. Let's begin. Uh, do you have what it takes to be a ghost buster? Strap on your proton pack. Fire up Ecto-1 and get ready to see if you have what it takes to join the ranks of the Ghostbusters team of paranormal investigators. Um, the first question, do you believe ghosts are real? A, no, at least I really, really hope they aren't. B, yes, my great uncle twice removed saw one. Or C, heck yeah, there's one living under my bed right now. C. Next question. You find a secret hidden chest of old ghost hunting equipment. What do you do? A, play it safe and call the authorities. B, continually test the equipment to see if it works. Or C, strap on a proton pack and start hunting ghosts. C, are we starting to see a pattern here? Uh, next question, I'm just, I'm just going in order here. Uh, you are exploring your your basement and you step in a puddle of ectoplasm. What do you do? Do you A, run away screaming, B, get mad about it ruining your shoes, or C, say, here ghosty ghosty, come out, come out wherever you are. Look, it's C, I mean, it's a given, it's a C. Um, but if you're in my basement and you step in a puddle of something, I have two dogs, so um, don't, go, don't be go thinking dog pee is paranormal because it's not. Okay. Right. Next question. What equipment do Ghostbusters use to detect psychokinetic energy? A. Psychokinetic energy sounds too scary. I don't want to detect it. B. A PB and J meter. Or C. A PKE meter. C. Every answer is C. Spoiler alert. What do you do if you, oh no. What would you do if you found a ghost in your closet? A, sell your house and move to another country. Try to tackle it. Or grab a ghost trap and catch that non core Corporeal entity. I got, they got some big words on this Ghostbuster cereal. I mean, I'm not getting a college education here. Should read the back of cereal boxes more often. I work for my dad. He is really, really smart. Uh, last question. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm grabbing a ghost trap and trapping that non corporeal entity. Ay, ay, ay. You suspect your friend is possessed by an ancient spirit. How can you tell for sure? A, ask them politely if they are an evil spirit. B, uh, throw garlic at them. C, research psychokinetic biological inhabitation in Tobin's spirit guide. Well, it's C, but I think there should be a D on there too. And it should be, um, my friend is not Zach Bagans, therefore, my friend is not possessed by an ancient entity. Add up your score to see if 
I didn't know, I didn't know we were getting prizes. Add up your score to see if you are ready to start trapping ghosts. C's are worth three points. Three times six, I'm telling you, college education does not end at the vocabulary. There's math too. So um, yeah, basically I uh, nailed it. You are the Ghostbusters new fearless leader. If you uh, answered eight any of those questions, I mean, keep trying, you'll get there one day. Am I probably ever going to eat and enjoy a bowl of this cereal? Uh, no. I, uh, I was a good girl today and I just wanted to treat myself to a little vloggy vlog time. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below if you've ever seen a ghost before. I, uh, I'm still not ready to talk about the time that I did. I want to scare my kids. Thanks for watching. Bye. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! If there's something weird and it don't look good, ah, who can you call? Ghostbusters! I figure if I sing it myself, there's no copyright infringement there. <laughs>